Now half a mile from the VOR, runway is still not in sight, maintaining 1220 and 90 knots. If visual contact with the runway is not established, or if the pilot fails to meet the requirements listed in 91175, a missed approach procedure must be executed prior to or at the published missed approach point. A missed approach procedure can be considered the IFR version of a go-around or aborted landing where the pilot will depart the airport and fly a specified route, course, or heading, typically arriving in a holding pattern. If a missed approach must be executed, the pilot should call out no contact, go around, once the decision to execute the missed approach procedure has been made. And point three, missed approach. The pilot will smoothly apply power and establish a climb attitude. Once the aircraft achieves a positive rate of climb, the pilot should call out positive rate and retract the flaps if extended. Positive rate. At this time, the pilot must advise air traffic control of the missed approach and of their intentions. Airforce Tower, Sioux 73, missed approach. For your instrument check ride, the instrument rating PTS requires that the applicant exhibits adequate knowledge of the elements related to an instrument approach procedure, selects and complies with the appropriate instrument approach procedure to be performed, establishes two-way communications with ATC as appropriate to the phase of flight or approach segment and uses proper communication phraseology and technique, selects, tunes, identifies, and confirms the operational status of navigation equipment to be used for the approach procedure, complies with all clearances issued by ATC or the examiner, recognizes if any flight instrumentation is inaccurate or inoperative and takes appropriate action, advises ATC or examiner any time that the aircraft is unable to comply with a clearance, establishes the appropriate aircraft configuration and airspeed considering turbulence and wind shear and completes the aircraft checklist items appropriate to the phase of the flight. Maintains, prior to beginning the final approach segment, altitude within plus or minus 100 feet, heading within plus or minus 10 degrees, and allows less than a three-quarter scale deflection of the CDI or within plus or minus 10 degrees in the case of an RMI, and maintains airspeed within plus or minus 10 knots. Applies the necessary adjustments to the published MDA and visibility criteria for the aircraft approach category when required, such as NOTAMs, inoperative aircraft and ground navigation equipment, inoperative visual aids associated with the landing environment, NWS reporting factors and criteria. Establishes a rate of descent and track that will ensure arrival at the MDA prior to reaching the missed approach point with the aircraft continuously in a position from which descent to a landing on the intended runway can be made at a normal rate using normal maneuvers. Allows, while on the final approach segment, no more than a three-quarter scale deflection of the CDI or within 10 degrees in the case of an RMI, and maintains airspeed within plus or minus 10 knots of that desired. Maintains the MDA, when reached, within plus 100 feet, minus zero feet, all the way to the missed approach point. Executes the missed approach procedure when the required visual references for the intended runway are not distinctly visible and identifiable at the missed approach point. Executes a normal landing from a straight in or circling approach when instructed by the examiner. As your instrument training progresses, you will likely be faced with many challenging scenarios requiring non-precision approach procedures. These approaches will be conducted at various airports utilizing multiple types of navigation aids and in many different weather conditions. Together with your UND flight instructor, practice these non-precision approaches using different navigation aids and different techniques such as course reversals, procedure turns, and radar vectors. Take advantage of the opportunity to practice these approaches during your flight training so that after you earn an instrument rating, you are well prepared and can confidently transition from the en route phase of flight all the way to a safe landing using a non-precision instrument approach. 
As always, we on the You and the Aerocast staff hope you've enjoyed this latest episode. Please have fun and fly safe.